Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and um, I get from time to time the people that um, send me a message or will comment and say that you know they're still on 21H2 and uh, or 21H1 and they're like well you know I'm, I'm okay with 21H1 but I'm wondering why I'm not moved to 21H2 for example. Um, so you know this is not a major issue for now. Um, we still have several months left and it's normal for your computer to not always see it uh, for uh, reasons that Microsoft knows. Your computer is sending out telemetry so Microsoft is not showing it in Windows updates because that's where you'll see 21H2 appear if you're on 21H1. You'll see it as an optional update in the update and security page. Um, if it's not showing up, it's because there's something that's still not right and they're not pushing it just in case. You know, it doesn't mean that it doesn't work and doesn't mean that it won't work. It just means let's, you know, stay safe. And so um, make sure that, you know, we're not pushing you to a system that could give you problems. Uh, it could be something that you have a driver that's not up to date. It could be a ter third party antivirus if you're using something else than the Windows Defender antivirus. Uh, there are several things that can actually prevent this from happening. Technically, um, it's not too worrisome even at this point. If you are still on 21H1, haven't seen 21H2 offered yet, it probably will happen in the next few day, a few months. Sorry, um, you know, as time goes by, they're gonna fix whatever is wrong and and they're gonna offer it to you. Now, um, it, would it be safe to move on or force 21H2? Um, I think it probably would be very safe for anybody that even doesn't see 21H2 appear. Uh, you can go to this page. I'll post the page link in the description below. And you can, of course, click Update Now. Uh, the other thing that you can do is wait. Um, you know what? 21H2 is the um, latest version right now, but 22H2 will appear this fall at some point, and it's a very, very small cumulative update. I think there would be no harm in waiting and just applying 22H2, which will give you at least um, until 2024 for um, you know not updating your machine if you don't want to. Remember that these have 18 month cycles, so 21H1 will end its support this fall in, I believe, October or November. Um, and of course, by that time, 22H2 will probably be out. Um, moving to 21H2 will move your end of support date to June of 2023, which is next year, mid 2023. Waiting for 22H2 would push that to mid 2024 so that would give you a nice big jump uh, so it's all up to you um, I think this update of 21H2 is so small and doesn't do much uh, changes that it probably will work and you can click the update now button here and you'll be there and I think it's gonna be fine but um, you know it's up to you to do so there are reasons why it's not showing up yet uh, obviously, but I don't think that these reasons are necessarily that big of a problem in general. So you can do that or you can wait. And um, at the last resort, if really, really at the last minute it's still not there, um, then just force updated to 21H2. I think anybody being offered 21H2 should move on to 21H2 because it just is such a minimal update that um, I don't think it's going to change much and break anything on your PC. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.